So we're continuing our focus on the 2024 West Indies Regional four-day season, which starts on Wednesday with four matches. Here's a quick reminder of those uh, fixtures coming up over the next four days. Jamaica Scorpions against the Windwards Volcanoes, combined colleges and campuses against Barbados Pride, Leewards Hurricanes against the West Indies Academy, and Guyana Harpy Eagles against the TNT Red Force. The bottom two games are in St. Kitts and Nevis, and the top two games uh, on the screen will be played in Jamaica, the country which has, by quite some distance, won the most titles in the competition's history with 23. Barbados Pride enter this season as one of the favourites and due in no small part to their emerging core. Two of the players leading that charge, Zachary McCaskey and Akeem Jordan, who were both included in the West Indies test squad for their recently concluded tour of Australia. Both men are with us live in the studio. Uh, shall I start there on the experience in Down Under with uh, Shamar Joseph um, <laughs> making the headlines even now? We spoke about him all week last week. Uh, great experience for you guys uh, being on tour down there, even though the West Indies didn't win the series. The way the series turned out, it was a victory of sorts for, for the West Indies squad. Uh, Akeem, you first. Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. Like, just from going down there with the young bunch, you know, the energy is going into the, to the series. Like, we went in. We didn't fear anything. What we did we have to lose? We just went in there, put our hearts on the table, and we ended up joining the series one all. Yeah, Zachary? Yeah, yeah as, as Hakeem said, you know, it was a great feeling. You know, we went just with a clear head, clear mind, you know. It wasn't much to lose, as you say, because obviously the expectations weren't really that high of us, to be honest. So, you know, it was good to come up with a win at the end of the day. Yeah. Shifting focus now to the domestic game because the Barbados Pride were champions twice in the last three tournaments played. Third last year as the Guyana Harpy Eagles emerged champions. Um, you are both teammates with Wildy in, in, in your club situation, Barbados as well. So, you know, there is some level of camaraderie with, with you two there for, from, from the beginning. But uh, Akeem first, how has Barbados Pride prepared for this tournament and how confident are you that you can deliver the goods? Um, I'm, I'm going to go on a limb and say we're very confident, you know, uh, we have our plans. We've been preparing pretty hard, you know, Coach Basford Dretz, uh, Assistant Coach Reynolds. I've had the guys, you know, going under some serious work over the last few weeks. Um, some of the new guys into the team working extremely hard. The trainer, Alexander Ford, getting the guys extremely fit. So, you know, we're trying to cover all of our bases because we want to bring everything out there this season and leave everything on the table. Yeah. Zachary, I've been monitoring your scores, well, for years now for Will Dean, the elite division in Barbados. Lots of high scores, some hundreds as well. Um, how confident are you with your form going into this four-day tournament? I'm pretty confident with my form, you know. Um, i actually just looking forward to doing well for the team, you know. Don't really focus on personal accolades as much as, as most people do. It's about servicing the team as best as they can. Mm. And, and you did have a stint with Middlesex Second Eleven um, in the past few years. How much would that experience have helped you in your development as a batsman? Um, that experience was great. You know, um, obviously being in a, a county setup was, was nice and I learned firsthand from some of the, the, the best players around. So just getting involved in those conditions and getting feedback from them, working with Stuart Law, that was really good. Yeah, and Zachary, this one for you. How important is it that, you know, you'll be under the leadership of the Windy's Test captain, Greg Brathwaite? I think that adds to the confidence of the squad. Yeah, yeah. Um, obviously, having the Test skipper as, as, you know, our regional skipper as well is, is a bonus. Um, you know, he tries to create a very good environment for the Test team and for the, the regional team. So I think it's a good thing for us. If we are, Akeem, to pinpoint some of the strengths of this Barbados team without giving away too much, what would you say to me? Um, <laughs> there's not much I can say to be honest, but I would just say our tactics, you know, our, as he said, Craig, you know, we have a lot of tactics coming into this season. You know, we have a couple of new guys that no one has seen as yet. So we're honestly looking to use that to the best of our ability. So. You know, the other teams that we have to play, they just have to watch out for what's to come. Yeah, you play CCC starting tomorrow. <coughs> um, what do you think 
you know, will be your approach and your mindset as you get ready to face them? Because they haven't played in regional cricket for some time, then they came back in. What's the approach? You know, simple approach, you know, um, don't take anything for granted. You know, the guys that we're going to be playing against have played um, some sort of cricket, uh, four-day cricket before. So, like, and there's a lot of Bajans on the team as well. So they know what's oh. coming, <laughs> what they're coming up And against. you know what you're dealing with. Yeah, so, you know, it's... It's going to be a lot of friendly faces, but we're not going to be so friendly on the field. So, you know, it's just a matter of being cautious still, but having our plans and just sticking to them, hoping mm. it goes well. And Akeem, about where your career is at at the moment, I remember you winning a Super 50 title, didn't you, with CCC, mm -hmm. with some impressive performances from you uh, bowling as, as well. How satisfied are you with the growth of your game? I can say I'm pretty happy, um, but there's still a long way to go. You know, so much that I still would like to achieve uh, as my cricketing career goes on. So I'm just st here, still putting in the hard work, hoping to take my game further and further each day. Yeah, Zachary, Barbados is, I would say, among the <laughs> territories in the region that has a structure for developing players um, better than most. I, I remember you having a lot of success with the Barbados youth team in the elite division as well. And Barbados is one of the countries that actually has a youth team playing in your senior top flight competition. Um, do you think that is, is helping Barbados cricket to develop young teenagers battling the best players in Barbados on a, on a weekly basis for championship honors? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I believe, you know, the Barbados youth system is very important, you know, helped a lot of cricketers obviously from all the way back to probably Corey Collimore and those guys time yeah. Yeah. so getting the exposure to play against you know some of the best around in the region from an early age was really good um, when they first came in they would have been playing against like Ryan Hines and he was still playing test cricket and you're assistant coach now yeah <laughs> assistant coach now so you know it was a good experience you know good to get out there and, and be able to play against those guys at a tender age yeah, it's a 50 over format. We just come off a West Indies whitewash against Australia. Are you planning to battle the 50 overs and make sure that it's not a repeat of what we saw? Um, yeah, 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 I guess. Um, obviously, is is a case where you know a young side went to to Australia and you know, put some new faces, um, and obviously they were trying out a, a different team. Um, so it's. Yeah, I guess you just gonna battle that as best as we can. <laughs> you know what? A lot of people are looking in the coming year or two, um, players putting their hands up for test cricket for the West Indies. Obviously, coming out of the test series in Australia, it was um, very encouraging. But the batting didn't really click, mm -hmm. Zachary. And uh, there are spaces for new players coming in to, to, to put their hands up. Uh, do you see this coming domestic season as an opportunity for Zachary McCaskey to score some hundreds and put some pressure on the selectors to get in? Yeah, yeah, um, I see it as an opportunity, you know, to do well. Um, obviously, it's competition, you know, you're going to be trying to do well. Other guys are going to be trying to do well. So, for me, it's just about putting my best foot forward and hoping, you know, that my best is good enough. What do you consider to be your strong points as an opening batsman? Um... Well, I'm relatively aggressive, um, so i pretty good to square the wicket. Uh, I like to score. I like to get the score going. Uh, I don't really like to be stuck at the crease, so uh, that's pretty <laughs> like much it. So that, that sounds like a good combination with your captain, Craig Brathwaite, who, <laughs> yeah, who, who tends to be you know, more measured and uh, more um, safe with his, his approach. Yeah, yeah. I think that we could complement each other well. Um, I, I wouldn't say that I'm overly aggressive. You know, I got my moments where, you know, I could, I could hold firm as well. But I like to get the score going. Yeah. And, Akim, let me get the same question to you as a, a, a fast bowler who is reasonably experienced because you've been playing regional cricket now for some time. Now, what would you consider your strong points to be? <laughs> um, my concentration, first of all, uh, my discipline as well. Um, the skill, my skills to put the ball on the length our designated area for a long period of time. So it's for me, it's just basically um, putting the batsmen under some, some sort of test, like mm -hmm. making sure that, they always, that they're always thinking. Mm -hmm. So 
for me, those things work for me, and I just try to improve them every day. I keep working with them. And your coach, Vasper Drakes, was an international fast bowler himself. How much work have you been able to do with him? Um, well, recently been traveling a lot, so I haven't really been able to do a lot of work. But over the period, a um, few seasons ago, we've done a lot of work together. Actually, Vasper is a, I would actually say he's one of the best I've worked with, you know. Sometimes he may not know how to get, to tell you to get something done, but he can show you. And that's a trait that a lot of other coaches don't have. Yeah. So if it wasn't for Vasi, probably I wouldn't be where I am right now. So you have to give him thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Zachary, I want to ask you about the point that Akeem made earlier on about the CCC team having a number of Barbadians in, in their team as well, which can be a plus or a minus because just as well as you know about them, they know about you as well. Um, how do you feel about that aspect of this matchup here against the CCC? Um, uh, as you said, it could be a, a plus and it could be a negative as well. Um, but it's just about going in the game and, and, and just doing well, just going out there. And, and obviously playing against guys that you know, you could call it a bit easier because obviously you know what to expect. So it's about going out there and having as much fun as possible. So based on the teams on paper, because we didn't go out there as yet, right? Which will be your toughest opponent? Uh, out of all, all six things? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Eastern Jamaican girls really going to the back. So. And they might leave you. They, they, they bring you to the studio. Oh, you might yeah, not yeah. have so, a ride. So, so I should say Jamaica then. Yeah. All right. So, so, let's go with that. Uh, no, I'll probably say Guyana. Obviously, they've been the defending champions. Yeah. Um, they, they tend to have a, a good battle against Barbados a lot as well. So probably say Guyana. Yeah. yeah. What about you? I would say I would say Leewards. We okay. haven't beaten Leewards in a while now, mm -hmm. so those are, <laughs> Leewards is a team for sure. That me personally, you want to beat? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I want to get on top of them. Yeah. Yeah. I like the sound of that. Raheem Cornwell has been appointed captain of the Leewards, and uh, Kofi James mm -hmm. will be the the vice captain. I saw their squad announced over the past week. Um, what is it about the Leewards team, apart from the fact that you say that your track record against them hasn't been that good, but uh, Strategically, what are what are the things about the Leewards team for you, Akeem, that that makes them worthy, worthy challengers? Uh, well, for starters, um, Cornwall, he tends to get most wickets every season. Yeah, <laughs> and then with the likes of, um, well, the appointed captain that's not here, which would be Alzari. Yes. You know, he's a bit aggressive, so he likes to come after us Bajans. Yeah. You know, and even when we were in Australia. You know, he was giving us a lot of chat as well. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so to get on top of those guys, you know, I think I'm going to be completely honest. Um, they're very strategic, you know, very, very strategic. So they ha they really have good plans coming up against us. Like for some reason, whatever they do, it tends to work. So we have to find a way to counteract that. And for me, that's the part that I'm looking forward to the most. Yeah. Zachary just mentioned the Guyana Harpy Eagles, mm -hmm. obviously as the defending champions being worthy challengers as well. They have a new captain because their long-standing captain, Leon Johnson, has retired from, from, from cricket. And uh, Kevlon Anderson is now, you know, the captain of the team. Zachary, um, do you think the, the Harpy Eagles will be weaker without Leon Johnson's <laughs> astute captaincy? Um, well, I'm not sure, to be honest. Um, Obviously, a captain can make a big difference in a team. Um, I think young Kevlon understands cricket well, so obviously he played a bit around um, Leon. Leon as well. So he, I think he probably picked up a few stuff that he could just roll over and implement into him his captaincy as well. One of the things that I've noticed about the four-day championship recently, which is a bit worrying for West Indies cricket, some of these matches don't go four days. Um, That's why I asked. I'll, 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 put, <laughs> I'll put that to you, you too. Um, is, is that troubling for you? And can the fans expect more battles going down to the end of all four days in this, this year's competition? Akeem first. Well, to be honest, we've been asking for better pitches. So if we get better surfaces to play on, I'm sure that the games will go to four days. Yeah. Um, in the past, you know, pitches spinning from ball one. You know, like teams, teams run into spin for a change because they know what the surface is going to give. Yeah. So that's why I feel the games don't really last too long because team goes spin heavy and a lot of guys in the Caribbean don't really like the bat spin. 
you know, so those things, those things hamper the games going on mm. for the four days. Yeah, well, Zachary is an opening batsman, which <laughs> which may may hint that he may not be all that comfortable against spin, but I'll, I'll allow him to answer that question himself. Uh, How are you on on batting spin? I'm confident on batting spin. Um, obviously, as an opener, you probably favor fast bowling a bit more than spin, but I, I don't really see it as a trouble or. A big problem, but even more. when the pitches are favoring spin, as Akeem just mentioned, yeah, um, yeah, obviously, if it's favoring spinners, then you might be a little bit, you know, more watchful, yeah, watchful and conservative around it. Um, but for me, it's just about consistent bounce. So, even if a wicket is spinning, the bounce is consistent, you know, it's a true pitch, and you could trust, trust the surface, then you know, it's a lot easier to battle whether it's spinning or whether it's good for fastball and a seaman around. Mm. Yeah. And Akeem, who wins this weekend? In your in your game, I'm not asking you about the Jamaica Scorpions I have, game. I have to support my own, so I'm definitely going. To I know you're this. supporting, but I, I just want <laughs> <laughs> I just no, want an, an, an honest answer as to who you, you you think will win and and, and how impressively. Really? Uh. You want him to get dropped? <laughs> <laughs> CCC is not a team to be underestimated, and I think I they both know agree. that. Yeah, 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 I yeah, strongly yeah. agree. I agree. But Barbados pride. Yeah, but Barbados all the way. You know, I have to back my teammates. You know. I, we have to go out there and give it, give it our best. If we don't come out on top, well, there's not much I can say. But as for now, game yeah, on. Great game on. Okay. Barbados. All right, Akeem, great talking to you. Zachary Makaski, Thank thanks for talking Thank to you. us as well here on the Sports Max Zone. Barbados Pride, 23 time champions of first class cricket in the Caribbean, uh, the most outstanding team in the history of the tournament. And they open against CCC this Wednesday in Jamaica. Back with more on the Sportsmat Zone after that, after this.